Hello everybody, Mark Rizzio here. Welcome to Cooking with the Riz. On today's menu, I'm going to show you how to make chicken Kievs from scratch. Uh, nothing beats a homemade chicken Kiev. I've got my chicken breast here, my butter, real butter here. This is uh, the Wishing Star unsalted butter. Continental parsley, crushed garlic there. Those three items and salt and pepper will go into the, or those three items will be mixed together. Uh, I've got my panko crumbs here. And I've got my flour to flour the chicken in and the eggs, free range eggs. And then on the side, I'm going to actually make a scallop potato dish uh, with uh, cream and nutmeg and onions. And I might even serve a little um, bit of rocket salad with uh, grated Parmesan cheese and balsamic vinegar and olive oil and some walnuts. So um, I'll prepare these things, get them ready and I'll show you exactly uh, what we're gonna do. Okay, now I'll show you how to uh, prepare the garlic butter. Very, very easy, very simple. So I've got my crushed garlic here. Don't be shy with the garlic. That's what it's all about, isn't it, in the, in the, in the interim? A beautiful, beautiful garlic butter. Look at that. Oh yeah. Let's uh, keep the vampires away at least for one night. All right, that'll be enough garlic in there. So I've got my parsley. I reckon there's probably enough parsley in there. So it's not quite a bunch of parsley in there. Uh, so that's one block of butter. That's a 500 gram block of butter. Say about three quarters of a bunch of uh, continental parsley. And I would say there's about probably, oh, I reckon six cloves of garlic in there. And then all you have to do is mix it all up. And that's all you have to do. A bit of pepper. Just a little bit of salt. About that. It's not much at all. And make sure the butter is nice and soft. If it's a cold day, just whack it in the microwave for 30 seconds or so and she will um, get nice and soft for you. Alright, let's just keep mixing it around until it's all nice and combined. When this butter comes oozing out of the chicken, yeah it's fantastic. That's probably about it there. Give it a bit more of a mix after when you're just about ready to put it inside the chicken. That's pretty good. Alrighty. And that's your garlic butter, all done. Ready to rock. Now for the chicken. So make sure you've got some nice, beautiful, um, plump breasts. I like to trim off any excess fat or whatever laying around on it. Uh, this one's missing the, um, this one is missing the tenderloin. Okay, I just like to get all this stuff fat off it. Just trim it off. 
Uh, you'll need a knife similar to this one here. Um, so you can, what you do, you have to poke this one through the fat part of the chicken, the, the thick end. All right, so about halfway up in between, just push it in like so. Go as far as you can in there, turn it around, turn the blade around and give it a bit more of a slice inside. All right, and that's your opening for your butter. And then um, I'll do another one here. I don't like all, leaving all this sinew on there. I'm a bit fussy like that. It's nice to be fussy. Nothing wrong with it. All you fussy people out there, like me. Alright. Okay, and again, so you got the thick end here. Oh, I'll get this bit off here first. Got the thick end here. So we go halfway up in between there, push it in as far as you can. Give it a little slice and then turn the blade around. Give it a bit more slice inside so we get lots of butter in there. All right. That's two done. All right, I'll come and show you. I'll show you how to um, fill those in a moment. Okay, now we'll fill the chicken breast with our beautiful garlic butter. Uh, I've got a um, a nice pipe, piping bag here. Um, this is a really good one. You can use the uh, disposable ones if you like, but I like these ones here. Nice and big, plenty in there. And all you do, fill her up. And by the way, if you're having a hard time mixing your butter in, don't worry too much. It doesn't have to be mixed in, you know, hundred percent. You can use a um, you can use a um, electric beater if you like. That's probably an easy way to do it. So we'll go like that. Okay, push it down with your fingers. All right. Twist it, put it over the bench, over the bowl, sorry. Okay, push it out. And all you do is fill her up. Push it in there. And that's it, just like that. See, it's nice and plump now. Twist your bag. Make sure you fill it right up in there. Look at that one. It's beautiful. Turn the bag and twist it. Make sure it's all tight. Shove the nozzle in. Just like so. Squeeze it out. There we go. Look at that. All right. It's as simple as that, guys. That's how you fill your chicken breast. Okay, so what we do after we've stuffed our chicken breast with the butter, we'll just put some uh, toothpicks just to close the, the gap a bit. Don't worry, the butter will run out. Some of the butter will run out, like the ones sticking out here. But don't worry about that because then when that uh, when that cooks after it cooks you just pour that beautiful butter the garlic butter all over all over the chicken so you're not missing out on any so that's all right might be a little much in there but that's okay doesn't matter you can push it down a bit with your finger if you like close it up just like so so 
guys, I hope you uh, can do this at home. And um, I hope it comes out just like mine does. Then you can enjoy it to the max. And that's it, fella. Uh, that's, it, that's it, guys. So, and then all you gotta do now is crumb them, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, and uh, basically, that's your pre prepared chicken. All right, I'll show you how to crumb them in a moment. Okay, I'm just going to make the egg wash here. I've got the eggs in there already. I've got four eggs for these four. If you have any um, egg wash left over, just zap it in the microwave afterwards, after you finish, because you can't use it again. And um, cook it and give it to your dog. He'll, be, he'll appreciate it, he or she. So that's just four eggs in there, salt and pepper, that's it. All right, now I'll just put it in the flour. These are big chicken breasts, these ones. Okay, just like so into this and always use the left hand to put it in the flour keep the right hand dry at all times when you're doing this all right and that's all you gotta do oh, you gotta... all right and try and just be careful of those toothpicks that don't they don't get you Okay, just sort of push down a little bit on the breadcrumbs so they stick. Okay, just like that. There we go. There's one. There's the second one. And if you're not going to use the flour straight away or in the, you know, in the next couple of days, if you've got any flour here that's left over, um, yeah, you don't want to cross-contaminate anything, so you throw that in a bin. That's why I've only got a little bit in there. So, Some people like to uh, double crumb. So you can dip, re-dip it in, in the egg and give it another coating of crumbs if you like. Some people like that. I don't see any need for it really. One coat's quite sufficient. Isn't cooking great? Hey, keep our tummies full. Everybody happy? Oh yeah, I love filling up people's tummies. Love it. Every time I cook at home here, I cook for an army. It's only two of us here. <laughs> yeah. All right. So make sure you just strip off the crumb, or the uh, egg wash, so it doesn't block up the crumbs too much. Otherwise, you get big lumps in there. Egg wash as well. Just make sure you get it over that end there. Alrighty. I'll show you the end result later. Okay, folks. So now I'm going to, have to put the prepared chicken into my tray. Let's drizzle a little bit of olive oil on the bottom here. Just like that. And lay your chooks in. So put one, if you've got a tray like this, put one this way and one that way. So they cook evenly. All right, without crowding. There's another one. Put them a bit sideways. This one can go that way, just like that. And then we'll give it a drizzle of olive oil. Some people deep fry these. I don't like to deep fry, to be quite honest. Uh, it can be a bit too much oil. This is nice and healthier, a lot more healthier for you. Just drizzle the olive oil over it. There you go. And then that's it. Okay, 
So now just put this in the oven. She'll uh, take about probably 45 minutes to cook or so, around about that. Uh, and then um, I'll plate it up, or get it out the oven, I'll plate it up and show you what uh, the end result looks like with the scalloped potatoes as well and the salad. All right, so I shall return soon for you folks. Okay, everybody, everything is ready to go. Okay, I'm just going to dress this salad. Okay, I've got my uh, walnuts I'm putting in there. The rocket, I've got the rocket in there, the walnuts. Uh, I'm gonna put some nice feta, um, feta, sorry, parmesan cheese in there, just like that. And just drizzle some olive oil. Give it a nice coating. And some balsamic. Don't be shy with the balsamic. Gives it a good taste. All right. Give that a toss. And that's, uh, that's done. Get your little salad done. Okay, so the chicken's ready. I'll just plate that up. Look at that, oh, sorry. Little bit of salad on the side. like that and I'll come around and I will put a few potatoes on potatoes are fantastic look at that put a bit of the uh, grab a bit of that um, onion on the bottom grab some more Just like that. A bit of the sauce over the top. And that's it. I like to clean the plate up. Just like that. Alright, this one's okay. And there you have it folks. Oh, and also I forgot, didn't I? Put a bit of the uh, the butter, the melted butter, over the top. That's in the bottom of the pan here. Oh. Oh. Sorry, folks. Let me go this side. Look at that. Oh, that's yum. Yum as. I've got two more chickens left over tomorrow. All right. Okay, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I've taught you a few things. Uh, if you've liked it, hit the good old thumbs up there. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to uh, view my other content and future content. And I will see you at the next one. Happy cooking, everybody.